The first thing you'll notice in this second video of the clean and jerk, the comparison between myself and Mark on the starting position is much more closely aligned. The rounding of the lower back which I had is still there but nowhere near as prominent as it was previously. You'll notice the angles of the back are quite similar now as well. This is in most part due to the size of the plate. It's a standard size plate now, which is more closely aligned with what Mark's is, which I knew would make a bit of a difference anyway. Now, the beginning phase of the exercise is exactly the same as a snatch until you get to the hang. Just play a little bit of that for you. First thing you'll notice again there is again the amount of air time I get in comparison to Mark. I go a little bit too high off the ground which as a result costs valuable time in getting back under the bar. Also you'll notice that the, dis the horizontal displacement of my bar seems to be a little bit further out in comparison to Mark's. He keeps the bar much more closely aligned with his body which increases vertical displacement. Play a little bit more for you. Oh, also notice the bar position at this stage. Now, Mark has actually got, actually at this stage gets his bar higher than me. Which means the abduction at his elbows and his medial deltoids is better and higher than what mine is. Notice when I catch it at the bottom, in comparison to Mark catching it at the bottom, look at the position of the elbows. You can't see my elbows beyond the weight plate. Now these weight plates are the same in size, the standard size weight plates. If anything, Mark's may be a little bit bigger. Yet Mark's elbows protrude way beyond the plates. Whereas mine's sat just behind it. Which means the flexibility at my wrists and my front deltoids is nowhere near as flexible as it needs to be. Obviously Mark's got the experience and he's got the flexibility there which allows him to get right under the bar and bring his arms right back which I find near enough impossible because major flexibility issues in that position. Now, from there, you'll notice again the positioning of Mark's elbows in comparison to mine. Even in the standing position, his are closer to a horizontal position than what mine are. Mine are almost pointing down completely. My arms are almost at a 90 degree angle, whereas Mark's are almost folded completely in on themselves. Now, the next phase of this lift is a jerk. Now, it's a split jerk. Notice the difference which you'll, go, which you'll see here in a minute. I'll just press play for you there.
Now look at that position, in particularly the front leg. Uh, my front leg doesn't jump out anywhere near as far as Mark's. This leg needs to be further forward. It's almost like a, my back leg jumps right far back and the front leg barely moves forward at all. Whereas Mark's got a nice stable platform and jumps pretty much the same distance with his forward leg as, his, as he does with his back leg. This is all taking place in the sagittal plane. Notice as well the position of Mark's arms. They're right behind his head, his head forward, chest forward, arms right back. On mine, flexibility issues again. Possibly in the pectoralis major is preventing me bringing my arms further back. So the stability and balance on my part isn't quite there with Mark's. 